Today we're talking about the Model 3 and the battery degradation after a year, actually 14 months. So we do have over 30,000 miles. We got 30,436.55 miles on the Model 3. It is a standard range plus model. So originally rated for 240 miles on a charge. But today, as we speak, the battery has 220.73 miles on a full charge according to Teslafy, which is what I'm basing this off of. So if it's down to 220 miles range, that is almost 20 miles range lost, and we're down 9.06%. So had the car for 14 months and have over 30,000 miles on it, and now it's down to 220 miles of range for a 9% battery degradation, which is not good uh, in my opinion, I would have expected much less. I was hoping for 5% or less in a year. Now, I don't know if this is completely accurate. So you can see from, from the initial purchase of the vehicle, we had around 238 miles indicated as a full charge. It got as high as just over 238. And you can see downward trend to the current 220 miles. Now I really got a question whether it's actually 220 miles. It does seem like a nice uh, slope here that would angle over time. That makes sense. But you'll notice there's a couple times where it dipped dramatically and then came back up and then dipped dramatically again. So this most recent dip was from the lockdown for uh, coronavirus. So I wasn't driving. So during this time I was driving to work normal and charging to 90%, 80 or 90%. And then during this time period, when we weren't driving very much, the range went down significantly as indicated. So that's the thing. I wonder if it's actually range lost or if it's just the battery management system over time, you know, kind of getting more or less accurate to what the actual battery range is. Because obviously at one point it said max range was 216 miles and now it's 220 miles. The battery is not going to get better, but the battery management system might be able to track it better or have a better indication of where it's actually at. I have tried to take care of the battery, not charging it up to 100% unless I was going on a trip and really needed it and trying not to get below 20% unless, uh, you know, again, if I needed it, getting to a supercharger on a road trip. So that is on road trips where we would normally get below the 20% or above above the 90%. But I did try to charge it around 90% or 80% the whole time we've had it. So try to keep it in that 20 to 80% range. So charging is complete. It's at 70% and at 70%. 155 miles indicated. So right now on the latest charge with 155 miles indicated at 70%, that puts us at 221.42 miles on a full charge. So 100% of the battery should get us just over 220 miles. So what do you think? Is it actually 220 miles? Is it actually a little bit more than 220 miles and it's just not indicating it? I'm not really sure at this point. So we're trying to figure that out. I'm still going to keep track of it over time. 
But the only thing that gives me uh, hope in the battery degradation or it not being as bad, hopefully, as it looks is the fact that it has gone up when treating the battery a little bit differently. So obviously usage patterns has an effect on the range indicated, meaning there must actually be more there in the battery than it actually thought when it said 216 miles range. We obviously didn't get any more battery range by charging it less. So what do you think? Is 9% battery degradation too much for a year? Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.